dear church, throughout my life and time in ministry, I've learned countless lessons. Even though I've committed my life to walking alongside our Father in heaven, I've gone through some very challenging seasons. I've been broken and I've been mended. But through it all, one thing has remained true. God is and has always been with me. As a part of the body of Christ, I know that if he is always with me, then he is surely always with you. So let's talk about it. We have been stretched on every side. We've lost loved ones, jobs, and much more. While many have struggled, you may have seen some undeserving folks gain in this season. Pandemic, politics, and racial tension aside, perhaps you thought at this point in life you'd be further along, whether relationally, in your career, or otherwise. In the wake of this season, it's normal to wonder, what has been the meaning of all this? Or like the biblical prophet Jeremiah, you could be asking God, why does the way of the wicked prosper? Many of you are, by now, weary, frustrated, or plain angry with God and ready to throw in the towel. With all of that being acknowledged, I am writing to you today to tell you why you must never give up on your faith or your journey, no matter how tempted you may be or how bad things get. Why not? How would you feel if you knew and truly accepted that all of these challenges were for your good? Do you believe all of these little things could be training ground and preparation for where God is taking you and who he has created you to be? God responded to Jeremiah's concerns and complaints by asking, if you have raced with men on foot and they have worn you out, how can you compete with horses? What does this mean to us today? It means if we cannot handle the trials we currently face, how then can we face what is to come? Simply put, stop complaining. Dry your tears, dear church. You are daughters and sons of the king, and it's time to run with the horses. Just look at the world around you. Don't you see? Maybe more than ever, it's time to stand firm in our faith. If you are disappointed and weary, hold on to God. Call on him even more. Yes, this life is full of trials, but know that the harder the trial, the bigger the calling and the blessing. Stand up from your sitting place. Don't envy others' gains. Don't allow this world to watch, wash over you. Give your whole heart to Jesus, knowing if he is for you, no one can be against you. If you are bound, he will break the chains and deliver you. If you struggle with self-doubt, he can give you the strength, ability, know-how, and anointing to do those things you can't do on your own. You can run with the horses. Stop worrying about the small stuff around you. Those are tricks of the enemy attempting to make you lose sight of what God created you for. You can overcome. Get your eyes up and lift your heads up. Beloved church, I pray that this message will take root, guiding your perspectives on life's challenges as it has done so for me. Know that as long as you have breath in your lungs, you are still in the game. God won't bring you this far to leave you. Hold tightly to our Father in heaven and his word. And please remember, he is always with you and keep running with the horses. Sincerely, John K. Jenkins, Sr. Thanks for stopping by our channel. To learn a little bit more about our church, stop by connectivevictory.com where you can find a campus near you, give, or even join an online small group. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because we have a lot of great content that's gonna be coming your way. So don't forget to hit that bell icon so you don't miss a thing.